Hello, everyone. Welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. This is one of my five-minute Docker series video. I'm gonna introduce some interesting and fun Docker project and share with you guys through this channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you Minimalist, a web notepad which is the project I found from GitHub. It's a very simple web application, which is replacing your notepad on your Windows. We can open a demo site to see how it looks like. Basically, it's open a web notepad to let you type in anything you want. You also can define your own notepad through the web interface. For example, you can create in a NetSec one, and then you can start into pasting the information inside. That will allow you to have collaboration with some other users over the internet. You can directly send a link to your friend, and then you can, everybody can work on the same notepad. That's quite different from this notepad in Windows. That's why I think it's very interesting, and um, in certain way, it can help you to communicate with your friend and leave a message as a chatting board. I have a blog post regarding the installation steps. Now let's jump into play with Docker, and I'm gonna use it to demonstrate in how to install it using a different way. Now let's start it. Play with Docker is a simple, interactive, and fun playground for your Docker that you can learn Docker configuration, setup, installation, and also you can test in your Docker. So I'm mostly using it for testing now. You have four hours to use your instances. So you're always creating your own new instance, and then you've got four hours to run it. By default, Docker and Docker Compose has been installed. So you don't have to worry too much. You can directly start to work on your Docker configurations and bring it up. So all the code and the steps command has been put into my blog post, which I'm going to put into this video description. What you need to do, basically just copy paste as I'm doing right now. The first command, of course, is going to create in a folder to store your data. After that, you get into this folder. Then you may want to download the minimalist Docker configurations. So it should be very simple and very straightforward downloading. After that, unzip it. By the way, the pasting command is Control Shift V. Control V doesn't work in the Play with Docker website. For the copy, is Control Insert key. Uh, Control C doesn't work as well. So, unzip it. After that, we're gonna create in our image. Starting to building the image based on the configuration. So we are missing one dot behind this docker build command. So just put the dot in. So there's a seven steps for this build command. I shouldn't take more than one minute or it will be done. After that, you just need to start your docker. As you can see, we have our Docker image ready. 
at this moment, you can just do docker compose up. If you want to put the docker compose up command behind it, so just using and sign at your docker compose up command. In that way, you still have your interactive command line for you to do other configurations or checking a log. So the basically, this is, has been up the port. Let's take a look. Docker PS, you will see the port number is 80, has been mapped to this Docker. So what we can do is we can just using AT port to open it. So by default, this is a QX HMR notepad, which you just created from Docker Playground. You will see those access, web page access logs shows from the Docker interface, Docker Playground interface. We can type something here. So that's basic steps, probably four or five commands. Then you can get your web notepad minimal list up and running. All information, the notepad that you created randomly or you created on your own name will be stored on a data folder. So we have Q XHMR list, we also can create your own notepad NetSec. So this is completely new. Type something and then we're gonna check it from the command line. We're gonna log into the Docker to check the files we created. So we're gonna log in with our problem. Let's look at what we have. So we'll find this temp folder. Let's get in there. You will see different files. So far we have two notepad we created. The QXHMR1 is the random one when you open a website. And that sec is the one we created. So you can directly check the information inside of it. And we can type more. You can check it again. Perfect. So that's the file. So this is the first method I'm going to show you how to create your own web notepad minimalist. There are multiple steps, but you may think it's too much. So after that, I'm going to create even simple steps. Just one command, you can have this up and running. And also, I'm going to map this temp folder to your Docker host. In that way, you can just have a data folder backed up and no need to worry about the data lasting because right now temp folder is with this Docker inside of this Docker. All files we created online will be saved in this Docker. If you, for some reason, you lost this Docker, then your data you're gone. Right. So let's start a new instance, and then we can play it again. I'm gonna add a new instance in. IP will be 192.160.0.27, but doesn't matter. This time, I'm going to show you the docker command, docker run command, which is uh, even easier. So it's also listed in my blog post. So what do you need to do is just copy paste. As I do, just paste this docker run command and put it in. It's automatically download the docker I already created in my doc hub repository and also in the command you will see I'm using a different port I'm not using AT because when you deploy it it may be AT being occupied by another application so I'm using port A006 this is my docker hub image um, one more thing I changed is um, is it gonna be mounted this folder 
inside of Docker, which we just checked it. They were hosting all your notepad you created or somebody created and to this folder. You don't need to create this folder. It will automatically create it for you. So we can take a look. So right now there's nothing. But if we open port A006, it will automatically randomly give you a name for your notepad. Let's type something. So it will be also created under this folder, which is on your Docker host server. You may want to say, I want to customize it however you want to use your own notepad. So we're going to create a new one. Today is December 18, 2022. Let's take a look again. Yeah, you, right away you get it. So yeah, here is the basic steps. So I prefer using Docker Run. It's one command. You get everything simple, easy, and also you have your all notepad created stored on your host docker which you can back it up easily. Uh, you may wondering if there's any other enhanced features such as can we use your own domain or can we put the username password simple HTTP authentication to do it. Yes, it's possible. Uh, that will be on my next video. If you subscribe my channel then you will see my new video release and then you will get a notification then you will see those advanced features for this simple notepad which you can create it for yourself and for your friends so, but that's pretty much everything for my this video i hope you got some useful information from here thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel to support me and give me a thumb up see you in my next episode Thank you.